Hey friends, a number of people have asked me that, you know, they've known I've been outspoken uh, and I haven't liked the government response uh, to COVID-19 over the last couple months. And uh, people have said, well, if you, if you don't like it, why are you just making snide remarks and little offhand comments? What do you really believe? What do you think should be going on? What do you think should be happening if you don't like it? So, hey, that's that's fair. Uh, I have to be very careful as a small business owner. Uh, if I say something that offends someone and they are a, a vendor or a client and they decide not to do business with me anymore, refer people to our business, that affects not only me, but my wife, our, our staff. And so I, I have to be kind of careful. And for those of you that are business owners, you you get that. You can't be yourself and put it all out there. So uh, I'm, I'm kind of taking a little bit of a risk uh, by saying this. I'm hoping that you guys will will kind of appreciate that I'm being honest and I'm, I'm speaking what I believe to be truth. My, uh, my I gotta say, I could be wrong. I, using my best judgment, I'm pretty good at logic. I'm pretty good at reason. Uh, I'm pretty good with statistics. I, I have a basic understanding of these things and probably know a little bit more than than the average person, and, and and even with all that being said, I, I could be wrong. So I come I come to you with humility, uh, but here are just a few basic points. I have a principle, and I, and I develop my principles based on my values, what it is that I value in the world. Uh, there are certain things that I value more highly than you might, and for example, uh, safety is not my number one priority. If it was. I would be locked inside a padded cell in a basement, in a bunker, so that regardless of any bombs that drop or floods or fires or hurricanes, I would be safe. But I don't do that. I think that something is more important than safety. I, I balance it and I say, well, I, I want some safety, but I've made some decisions on how much risk I'm willing to take. And I like to go out and sit in the backyard Throw the ball for my dog. Yes, a pigeon can fall out of the sky and hit me in the head, but it's worth the risk. So I have evaluated my risk, <clears throat> my preferences, what I'm willing to uh, what I'm willing to risk as far as safety goes, and and if there's a good benefit from it, I'm really going to have a great time. It might be worth going out in the backyard and playing with Remington. I have made these decisions, and for me, my principles based on my values, are that I don't initiate violence against other people. I'm honest, I don't steal, and I'm kind. So if I look at those principles, that's the, the test by which I, I judge any possible thing that could happen. Now you notice that I didn't mention in any of those that what's most important to me is that neighbors do things that I think will be safest for them. It's not one of my principles. If they choose that for themselves, they can, but it's none of my business. So if I am asked the question, should I initiate force or violence or the threat of it against one of my neighbors by saying they may not go outside of their home for the reasons they want to, I'm going to tell them the only reasons that it's okay for them to go outside of their home. Why? Well, I, I, I can't say something like that. That goes against my principles. I look at my my, my standards, and, and I, I couldn't do that. For me, freedom is really high on the list. People going out and doing stupid things that are very likely to result in injury, things that I think are stupid, riding a bicycle down a mountain trail. You kidding me? The trail's less than a foot wide, a single track or something they call them? Like, that's ludicrous. You're gonna hurt yourself. Lots of people die every year from bike wrecks. I mean, come on. But then I have to go back to my, my values, my principles. None of my business what you do. Yeah, you could run into somebody on the hill, but I'm not going to tell you you're not allowed, allowed to ride a bicycle down a hill. That's, that ain't right. And so for the whole COVID thing, yeah, there's a, there's a, a virus going around that's somewhat nasty. Not the worst ever. You know, I'm sure at some point in the next 10 years or 100 years or 1,000 years, there'll be a virus that wipes out... 90% of the human population. This one doesn't even do that. This one, like worst case scenario, three, four, five, six percent And that sucks. If, if, if I'm one of the people that dies or somebody I love, that's, that's going to suck. Um, however, we're all going to die. And just because I'm scared of dying 
where I really don't want my neighbor to die, and I care about them a lot, I can't violate my principles. And so that's why I'm not jumping on the bandwagon and pretending to be scared of a nasty little virus that needs to just kind of run its course. And for those that are afraid of it, and for legitimate reasons, some people, if you're obese, if you are, have underlying conditions that, uh, you know, if you're, if you have lung cancer and your immune system is shot and you're 80 years old, my gosh, COVID is a bad, scary, nasty thing. Stay inside. But it's your duty, unfortunately, to lock yourself into the safe space and not consider the safe space to be your home and also everywhere else. The rest of the world gets to go on. The rest of the world gets to take risks and do what they want to do. That's their choice. If you want to stay safe and you want to not get the virus, it's a pretty good way of doing that. Shouldn't be legislated. That should be your choice. I respect you as a human being enough to say that that's your choice to make, not mine. That's my standpoint. I'm very frustrated at being told what to do. Now, maybe I would have said, hey, April's not our busiest month anyway. We're going to hang out and, uh, you know, not go out. <clears throat> Keep ourselves healthy. Right. Maybe I would have, but that's my choice. And it's your choice what you do for you. It's not the commune's choice. It's your choice what you do. And to shut down an economy, the whole world, the economies of, throughout the world have been so damaged in our little town. I, I guarantee, I mean, I, I, my prediction, I can't guarantee. I strongly believe that my wife and I and our awesome team, our coaches and admin staff, we are all going to make less than half the money that we made last year. And we don't make that much in the first place. We're going to have to sell a car. We're going to have to sell some toys. Now, that isn't horrible compared to third world situations. But we've been working a lot of years to be able to try to build up a nest egg. And that's just quickly going away. We've had force used against us. And so I guess for me, it comes down to my desire to let you do what you want to do. And my humble preference that you really should allow me that same dignity, that same respect that I get to choose risk for myself. <laughs>